Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the words of the Chavetz Chaim in the Sefer Mitzvah HaKotzar. Today is Mitzvah Loisa, say the negative commandment, Kuf Samech Zayin, 167, Shaloi Liksayim, a person should not practice any divination. What does that mean? Shenema, like it says in the Torah, Lo Yimotzei V'chal Kaisem Kisomim, you cannot find someone around you. You should not find someone among you that practices divination. The kaisimu, what does it mean? Someone who is a diviner. He takes a stick and he hits it. Ba'ar, it's on the ground. Ha'kais harbe, many, many strikings. mishunas, and he screams bizarre screamings. Ma'chshavos, he gets lost in his thoughts. And he stares at the ground for a long time. Till he becomes almost like an epileptic who falls to the ground. And then he begins to tell over the future of what is going to be. So he looks like he's having some kind of outer body experience, some almost some kind of prophecy over here between him and the Almighty, and he starts telling over what the future is going to bring. They're those who work together with sand and stones, or or they throw a leather belt onto the ground. Or he holds his staff in his hand, and he says, If I should go, or should I not go? What should I do? I'm not sure. Everything is in the category over here of someone who practices divination. It's all falsehood, it's all illusion, it's all a sham, and therefore a person is not allowed to do these things where they are trying to connect to a dark place in the world that is outside the realm of the tamim, of the of the pure and innocent ways of someone who serves Hashem. Someone who does any of these things, he transgresses his prohibition. But what if you go and you ask one of these people, tell me, what does the future bring to me? And that's only going to be a rabbinical prohibition. This is something that it lasts and exists everywhere all the time. Bescharim ubenekevis for men and for women. So we don't find so much today in the world people that are really entrenched in these ideas. But if you would find somebody who is doing such things, doing crazy behavior like this, stay far away. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful Shabbos.